Hello everyone, I'm Brahmithra, and again, I just want to start off as always by saying thank you so much for all the support. It's always so very humbling, and uh, I'm just glad I get to share uh, Kingdom Death with everybody who watches these videos, and I'm glad it introduced people to the game. Uh, it is a great game, and it just just makes me so happy that I get to share that with people and they also find entertainment out of it. I saw in the comments someone bought the game because of this, so... Yeah, that makes it all worth it. I'm just glad that people get introduced to this great game. Uh, now, I might not be the best player at this game, and I'm definitely not, so uh, don't uh, do everything I do. Uh, as you can see, comments always point out that I should have been collecting all the uh, resources <laughs> during the antelope event, or antelope hunt, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, it's a mistake, but uh, at the same time, I didn't really need them. I got the Nightmare Tick from the uh, hunt event that I was on and that's all I really need because I just wanted to make uh, certain cooking recipes. So the Nightmare Tick is what I was looking for and then it, normally yeah you should be going for those vermin resources and picking up acanthus plants but uh, we have level 3 butcher. I don't think we're gonna beat level 3 butcher. I'm gonna try but uh, so as you'll see the settlement event is long because I just try to spend as much resources as I can because the butcher will just wipe them all out and destroy them all if we lose. So I'll be left with nothing. So gaining extra resources is not beneficial and it just takes me a while to try to spend them all. And as always, thank you so much for helping me out. As you saw in the hunt, I did end up making the Lantern Glaive to use the Warlord armor. Uh, it's much better than the Beacon Shield. So thank you for that and enjoy the settlement. All right, here we are. Settlement phase. Whew! Uh, we've got a lot of stuff to do, and I'm going to try to spend every resource I can, because we have to fight the Butcher. Next, level 3 Butcher. Uh, he's really difficult, and he kills all your resources if you lose. So we're going to try to spend everything we have. So I've got all kinds... Oops, this goes down here. I looked at a lot of things. Uh, we're just going to try to spend it all. That it, so it's going to be a little bit puzzly, this settlement event. Trying to work out the maximum spending with the maximum efficiency and the best results. So we've got all our vermin laid out here. Uh, bone, three bone, three belt, or three bone, three pelt, three love juice. We've got four bones two extra organs, a third organ right here, which tentatively right now is a monster grease, two extra hides, an extra broken lantern. Uh, we've got stuff set aside here for cooking. Uh, I've got the cooking out, I've got scrap smelting out, blacksmith out, exhausted lantern horde, leather worker. Those are the tentative things that we're going to do. I've looked over every single bit of our resources that we have in storage. So this, none of this stuff's written down yet, so aside from that, we also have an extra organ, which is the small uh, hands from the Phoenix. We have one iron. I know last Sunday event I said we had two iron left, but I made that pickaxe, which costs one iron, one leather. So we have three scrap, we have a canthus plant, another hissing cockroach, another uh, a crab spider, which I put out, a cyclops fly, which I didn't put out. Uh, he's, well, if we need him, we'll use him. I don't think he can be used as anything else. Um, a lantern tube and two black lichen. So I actually pulled those out this time as well. The, I know normally I don't, but I did this time. Same thing here with the lantern horns. I pulled those out here. You can actually see them. So here are the actual lantern horns. They count as a bone and a scrap. So, um... Right here's the AI card. We'll see if we end up using this. So we have that as a possibility to use as a scrap if I decide not to use it as a bone. Here is the black lichen. So we have two of these uh, because the black lichen is what you get for just defeating the level 3 antelope at all. And it's kind of a wild. As you can see, it's a bone, an organ, a hide, um, and it's consumable. I don't know why you would ever consume it, but you could. Oh, and I do know why you would consume one. Uh, it's because of one of the uh, Echoes of Death things. You could eat one of these. <laughs> Maybe. 
it's a very weird one, but you could. And then we have a lantern tube, which we got uh, settlement event prior doing the investigate. I forget how we got a lantern tube, but we got one. I think it was doing some investigation. I don't remember, but either way, this is an organ and a scrap. And as you can see here, when I found it, I was supposed to roll a 1d10 and on a 6 plus we get another broken lantern. So we're going to be doing that right now. Rolling to see if I get a broken lantern. Uh, I do, which is great. So that's an extra broken lantern. Um, so I will go ahead and add that. And I'm going to do it because, like I said, I want to use everything possible that I possibly could. There's one more broken lantern. Okay, so, um, and again, that's, n that's not an addition to stuff we already have in the storage that was already archived, so we don't need to draw cards to get it. Uh, this stuff we is already here. We don't, we're not drawing from the basic resource decks. So there's, you know, it doesn't, if we run out of there, it doesn't matter. So, these are separate. Like I said, these are maybe if I want to use them. All right. Now, a lot depends on the settlement event that we draw here. So I'm going to shuffle up the settlement events. Um, and hopefully, we get, oops, we get something. Okay. All right. So... Here we go. Um, where's my dice? Oh yeah, the Horpolation dice. Um, I'll just use this pink one. I'm not going to use the Horpolation. Normally I roll the red one, but here we go. How many are we drawing down? Four down. One. Two. Three. Fourth card. Oh no. Oh, no. Plague. <laughs> okay. Sick we've drawn this before. This, uh, sickness sweeps through the settlement. Survivors are sickened without warning. Made too weak to care for themselves. Select four survivors with at least one hunt experience. They are infected. Each rolls 1d10. Okay. Uh, let's just go over the results here, and then we'll pick someone... So on a 1 to 10, they are dead. The infection spreads and adds plague to the next lantern year on the timeline if it's not already there. Uh, we don't have bloodletting, I don't think. I don't think I ever took bloodletting. Let me go through here right now. Yeah, we did not take bloodletting. Okay. So without bloodletting, it's a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, or 8. And the body tries to fight the infection. Unless you receive treatment, you will die at the end of the settlement phase. So, okay, then a 9 and a 10. You make a full recovery. And then there's lingering effects, uh, which would cry as an endeavor, and then you can roll on a treatment. Um, so... Let's select some people. Um, put this here for plague. All right. Um, let's select some people here with at least one, right? It says select four survivors with at least one. Okay. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll pick Shaw here because he has a fear of the dark, so he can't can't hunt anyway. He's pretty much dead. Um, it's Victor here. Victor's got a whole bunch of the royal stuff. So I guess if he were to die, that'd also be fine. We'll pick Victor. Uh, 
I thought we had someone else. I really thought we just had someone else who got some other... Who basically retired. Who was that? Oh, the person who can't hunt the flower knight. Who can only depart to hunt the flower knight. Who is that? Rob. For flower addiction. Pick you. So that's three people. Just need a fourth now. I mean, I could pick the person with the thunder maul. <laughs> um, but I guess not. Uh, that one's fine. Oh, whoops. I, met, I flipped this over on purpose. So look at the other side of all these. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, not much here. Okay, so this person's good. This person is also good. Um... Yep, this person's also good. Tara is good. I'm not going to do that. Russell, let's see. Uh, I mean, I guess... I guess oh, we'll set in the side here. She's the one with the inf with the rerolls, infinite lives. Okay, I guess we'll just pick Nolan as well. Okay. Um, okay, that should do it. Um, okay, now let's roll on the things. Now that we have everybody picked out. Whew. Uh, huh. Okay. First four... Uh, what are we doing? So on a one to two, they're dead. So first four, Nolan here. <laughs> uh, okay, Nolan. Uh, seven. With no... Uh, your body tries to find infection. Unless you receive treatment, you will die. Okay, so Nolan's good. Okay. Uh, Rob here. What is Rob going to get? A six. That's also, he's going to, unless he receives treatment. Uh, Victor, who's just got three things of the, uh, royal. Oh, no, he's got two. He's got the gods and the few, uh, and then he got destroyed genitals. Yeah, Victor here. <laughs> uh, let's see what you got. A s another seven. Okay. Again, same thing. And then Shaw... Here we go. Ugh. Shaw dies. Uh, wait, no. On a three. Shaw does not die on a three. Good. Then we're okay. <laughs> all right. So all these people now need treatment. That's the end of Plague here. Um, okay, grab that. Um, so, oh wait, I'm going to need Plague. I need the card out because I'm going to have to do the innovation here for treatment. Okay, so we're going to have to do this innovation now as well. Ugh. Well, no one died. I mean, everyone here is dead unless we do treatment. So, but the thing doesn't spread. So that's great. This thing's not spreading. This can go here as well. All right. So, um, what should I do? Okay, now we're to the regular settlement event here. First thing is first, we want to make sure we can oxidize the Lantern Glaive. In order to do that, we need a cocoon membrane and this black, so we have, the, we have two black ly lichen because you get them for beating a level three and a level, we've done that twice. So we have two black lichen, but we need a cocoon membrane. So, with a cocoon membrane, we're going to have to do here with the Exhausted Lantern Horde. So as you can see here, Exhausted Lantern Horde. Uh, lantern Tube is a 9+. plus. I think that's where we got the Lantern Tube from. I can't think of any other way we would have gotten one. And this 7 or 8 adds 2 
cocoon membranes. Now we just need one. We can't. We're not going to oxidize two things. Um, mostly because everything's going to be wiped out by the butcher. <laughs> so that's the way. I, that's the way I see for see things going. So um, now in order. So we need a seven or an eight on this in order to get this. And then in addition to that, uh, it will also cost an endeavor. As you can see, it's one endeavor. So, if we just do this with Win, we could spend her lifetime reroll if we don't get the seven or an eight. So, let's try to figure out how many endeavors, how many chances we have at this. So, um, so the I have oxi I've opened oxidation right here. So oxidation is going to cost three leather. So we definitely need to convert everything into leather. So one of these endeavors is going to have to go to leather making. So that will let us make all this leather all we want because you can spend any number. Uh, so it's going to three three leather, three organs which is here, three bones which are here, one black lichen which is here, and one cocoon membrane. And then in addition to all this, oxidizing the glaive itself will cost the lantern glaive, which we have in the gear grin, an additional iron and four bone. So we already have one iron in the storage, and that's these four bone. Uh, so that's this is the cost of just oxidizing that thing. So we don't need to make any iron, um, but I would like to because we have three scrap in the storage plus two scrap out there right now, plus we could spend the lantern tube as scrap, meaning we could get two, we could have two more iron. And if we had two more iron, we could make that beacon shield with three leather. So, if everything goes to plan here, we would, we definitely need to scrap smelt at least once. Twice, maybe, twice at least. Uh, let's put a third one there to be sure. Whew. So that guarantees it. Because then at least we can turn... Um, the three broken lanterns into an iron, plus this lantern tube and those two broken lanterns we have now. So we need this to succeed at least twice. If we get a ten plus, we can do as many times as we want with one endeavor. And we'll just save one for a failure. So... We'll do three on scrap smelting. That leaves us with three endeavors left. Um, I would like to do cooking because I have this set aside here for the evasion bonus uh, food. So I would like to do cooking. So tentatively, we have... I'm going to put this here. We've got four to spend. And that would mean we would not get to do plague at all whatsoever. So, let's do this with win, and do infinite lives. That way we can do the re-roll if we, if we don't get a 7 or an 8. Now, that would cost one endeavor, for sure, to do it for the investigating this. We could investigate again for one, but we would never re-roll. Or, we could do this to do drums with, um, I put drums right here. Or we could spend one endeavor to do drums and then get her two more re her another reroll. Then she would either way would amount to four times. The only difference is two of them one would they'd be rerolls. Uh, so the first one we're definitely we might definitely burn her reroll for sure. Uh, this might not be worth it. I don't know. I have to think about it, but. So let's get this cocoon membrane for sure. All right, so here's how we got all our endeavors lined up. Spending this one for sure. Spent. We're doing this. Now we need a seven or an eight to get two cocoon membranes. Here we go. Oh my gosh, we did. <laughs> oh. Oh man. I was really worried. I was really worried. I don't know if you could sense the fact that I was really anxious there because things could have gone really bad. I could have just lost a lot of resources. And I don't even know if I mapped this out right. 
Okay, so on a se- oops, let me show. So on a seven, we get the two cocoon membranes. That's all we needed. Seven, you had two cocoon membranes. <sighs> okay, now, uh, cocoon membrane, I thought I set it aside here. Just in case I had gotten one. I don't think they can be spent as anything else. Um, okay, so here's the cocoon membrane. Yeah, they're just an organ. So you can't spend them as anything else. Um, and they get added directly to the settlement storage, so... So that's that. There's the cocoon membrane. Awesome. We've got this. We will definitely spend the one right now. Alright. <sighs> okay, so we don't need this garbage. Okay, so now we can actually heal people. Uh, I don't know how many people we can heal, but we'll have to go over that now. Man, this is this was a puzzle. This this one I knew was gonna be a puzzle. I don't, I still don't even know. This I'm just flying by the seat of my pants here. Because I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do everything. Okay, so we have two cocoon membranes. We will now endeavor again here at the exhausted lantern horn. Oh, uh, the reason why I had so one endeavor was from cooking. All four people returned. That makes five endeavors, and then two of them were tinkerers. That's why we have seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's where I've got all those endeavors from. Okay, now we're spending a second one here for oxidation. Could I, uh, if I were to make a beacon shield, could, no, I couldn't. <laughs> I just, I, there's no way I could do it. Okay, so we're definitely oxidizing now. Uh, so, oxidation implementation cost is, or I guess I'll read it. So the crafting process requires a team. You nominate three other survivors and create coating and protective gear. If there are not enough survivors to nominate, you cannot proceed. This dangerous procedure requires protective outfits, a long placement tool, and a catalyst coating. Pay the cost to repair your implements, then craft one piece of gear in the high-voltage bath. After you craft the gear, the implements are destroyed. So, implement cost. Three leather. Oh, so before we do this, I need the leather work. So I'm spending this one right here, the leather working. Uh, yeah, so spending this one, the leather working. So we have this one back. To make any number of hide that we want. So we're just free to make as much hide as we want. So we're turning those into hide, turning all that into hide, turning everything into hide. Whatever I have, it's getting turned into hide. Um, or getting turned into leather. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so this would be... Oh, we still need one more scrap. Oh no, I could spend the lantern tube as scrap. So I'm definitely going to be spending the lantern tube as scrap over here. This will be our third scrap. Plus we have three scrap and scores. That will give us two iron, which is enough to make the beacon shield. Correct? Yes, it's enough to make the beacon shield. And I need three leather. So this crab spider will also be turned into a leather. So this will represent one iron, three leather here. And what else is left for the beacon shield? And four bone for the beacon shield. Uh, I don't think I can even make that. I don't think I have any way of getting four bone. So maybe I can't make a beacon shield. Yeah, there's no way for me to actually get four bone. Because I'm going to spend the four bone right now to oxidize this glaive. That leaves me with one. I'd have one bone left. So there's no way I could get that. So what else could we make here? Um... I could make, could I make any parts of the lantern armor? Two iron and five leather makes the body piece. So I'd have one, two, three. I wouldn't be able to make that either. Uh, either way, let's just keep going with this, just to figure just to figure this out, because I don't know what I'm going to spend all my resources on. All right, so let's just commit this to spent. So these three leather, which I've now turned into leather. So these are three things I'm going to spend them. They're gone. Okay, these three organs are now also committed 
and gone. Okay. One black lichen committed and gone. Still have another one. So that still have another black lichen. And three bone committed and gone here. And this is representing the uh, legendary horns. Okay. Uh, I could just spend them over here. Yeah. So there. Committed them to spent now. And the one cocoon membrane. So we still have one cocoon membrane left, which is an organ. Um, I'll pull it out just so we have it there. Just so we can spend it. That's one organ left. We've got all this left. Okay, now makes this oxidized lantern glaive, which costs the lantern glaive one iron, which we have from storage. So that's spent from storage, one iron. And... Uh, four bone, which these right here, shank bones, spiral, all these are going to be committed to spending. And that gives us the oxidized lantern glaive. So, uh, it's no longer early iron, which is great. Because <laughs> I rolled the ones, when, as you saw as I was fighting. Rolling ones is not fun, it just cancels everything. So, with the oxidized lantern glaives, no longer early iron. So you can see here, it's a two speed, five accuracy, it's so much better, six strength. It's still sharp, still reach two, uh, and now on a perfect hit, it will add four uh, strength to the weapon, which is great. That's why we did time of size our, um, as our uh, sculpture. So we can make people get time of size. We can make perfect hits more likely. So that's awesome. <sighs> now, with that said, what is left in... So the hissing cockroach is not anything. There's two. We have two of them, but they're not anything. We have another crab spider, which I put up there. Again, that's just a hide, so it's not really anything. I'll just erase it down here. Uh, we have a, a second. No, we, where's the cyclops fly? We have a cyclops fly, which I don't think is anything either. Yeah, it's just a vermin, so it's not anything. And we have the lantern tube, which I put up here as scrap. And the black lichen, we have only one up now. Okay. So, what to make? Hmm. So, in order to get this uh, activated on the lantern glaive, I'm going to need either another shield because uh, here's the clave itself so you can see my gear layout I'm going to have to move all this stuff down move these up uh, and then put something here in this spot with a green up so either this person is going to need a round shield which I can make maybe another round leather shield uh, or they carry the pickaxe because the pickaxe here also has an up so that's the only way I could think of doing it. Or I make another leather shield right now, which wouldn't be that bad. Um, eventually, I want everybody to have shields. Uh, the person who the tanks use the leather shield now, which will eventually be replaced with that with a beacon shield. I gotta I, first. I gotta get a beacon shield. Okay, so let's cure people now. I can put this book away. We're done oxidizing. I don't think I'm going to be able to make anything else with the book here. Uh, oh, wait. I'll, I'll need cooking. So I'll probably do cooking. Like I said, here we go. So now we have this stuff, which is exactly what you need to make the evasion uh, meal. So uh, let's just go ahead and do this. Or maybe should I not make this uh, monster grease? Remember, we, I had to make another monster grease because I threw one away to get the Thunder Maw. <sighs> um, what am I going to do now? Okay. So, I have four endeavors left. If I scrap smelt, scrap smelting leaves me with one. Let's just heal once. All right. 
let's just let's let's spend one to heal someone. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do down here. So it's a one to eight, they're healed. On a nine plus, they are. Or nine plus, everyone's healed. So do I do this with lightning, or do I do this with the person with the reroll? I can always get rerolls back with endeavors, or I could just do it with lightning. Then she does it with an eight plus. Ah. Uh... It's like a 30% chance lightning can do it. It's 8, 9, or 10. Uh, or it's like a it's a better chance with lightning, right? If I'm thinking this right. It's two twenty it's two twenty percent rolls. Right? It's only a nine or a ten with someone else. But she'd get to re-roll. So that's not an increase in odds. It's like a twenty. It's like a thirty-five. It's a better. It's a better percent if I do it with the person with the reroll, and then I could always do it with lightning after. But I don't. Okay, let's uh, let's do it with. Let's do it with lightning. See what happens. Come on, I just need eight, nine, or ten. Uh, so that's a four. Okay, so I can heal one of these people. <sighs> so healing one person of these. Oh, not these. Where are those four here? These four. So who needs to be healed the most? Uh, Victor. Pro no, not Victor. Rob has flower. So not Ro Rob gets healed last. He has flower addiction. He can't. He can only depart uh, flower nights. Or he can only hunt flower nights. Um, Shaw has the regal placard, so he's got he's got one. Oh, he's also got fear of the dark and the regal. So he's pretty much done. I could heal the fear. Of, I know I can heal heal. Yeah, I can remove fear of the dark, and I could also remove flower addiction for people. But wasting endeavors like that, as you can see, endeavors are, are pretty valuable. I'm not a fan of wasting endeavors to heal disorders, but I mean, unless they're awesome, and these people are not that awesome. Even if I were to heal Fear of the Dark disorder, this person still has a regal placard, so useful to fight the uh, Kingsman. Not useful anywhere else. <laughs> uh, Rob, if I were to hear his heal his flower addiction, he's not that super great. He didn't get any good bonuses, and he got a crappy fighting art, so he's still just a one-two of one. Or here, I can show you what I'm talking about, I guess. So yeah, he's still just a 1 accuracy, 2 strength, 1 evasion with Clutch Fighter. Not that bad. Or not that great. Um, okay, so... Um, Victor has destroyed genitals and two pieces... So, this is easy. So we heal no one. No one, you're healed. Good for you. He's not that great either. That's why I picked him. But he's, he's got Monster Claw style and Order of Death. Not that bad. Okay. Let's, I mean, we'll spend one more Endeavor. Maybe we'll be able to heal everybody. Now this will be the one do I want to re-roll on it. I don't think I'm going to burn a lifetime re-roll trying to heal these. If they die, they die. Who cares? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, 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 Alright, so we'll just do it with... Lightning again, so at least it's going to be an 8 plus. Ah! Uh, that's an 8 with lightning, but that's still not enough. She needs an 8. Okay, so that heals one more person. Uh, I guess we'll heal Victor. Or Sh No. So, even if I were to heal Rob or Shaw, the person with fear of the dark and fear of flower addiction, they still couldn't even go out and fight the Kingsman... Anyway, because um, they can't depart. So, I guess the better judgment, I'll just heal Victor. Even though he's got two pieces of the uh, Regal Gauntlet. Even though he's got Regal Gauntlets and the... What does he have? Regal Falls, which is the boots. And then he's also got Destroyed Genitals. Despite all that, at least he could actually depart and fight the Kingsman. So I'll heal him. Uh, that's the end of that. I don't think I'm going to be rolling on Plague anymore unless I roll awesome on Scraps Melting. Or 
unless I figure out what it is that I want to even make. So, with scraps melting, I have the opportunity to make two iron. What would two iron give me? Two iron, three leather. See, I don't have any bone. Two iron and three leather is perfect for the beacon shield, but I don't have any bone. And all these stupid things aren't bone. The lichen's a bone. I have the shank bone. So I have two bone. I would, some, could I get two bone somewhere? Um... Could I get bone? If I could just get two bone, I could make the stupid beacon shield, which would be perfect. I don't think I have any ways of getting bone, really. Oh, couldn't I do pottery? What's, what's, oh no, I need to do that. I need to commit that before, right? I could attempt to trigger White Speaker. <laughs> I think White Speaker might be able to give me bone, but that would dead cost two. Story until it costs two innovations. I could do Negridu and get de a dense bone gorm resor uh, resource. Oh no, I had the dispensary bone to get it. Fermentation. Spend one organ resource to gain a love juice. Ret. Spend one herb resource to gain one hide. I don't need hide. Well, what would hide? Hide would give me two iron and four leather. What does two iron and four leather give me? Now I need two iron and five leather to make the... Everything requires bone. There's nothing I could do with just, with just straight up leather and iron. I mean, I could make more leather gear, but I don't... Re leather... The leather stuff is okay, but the, I want to. The I'm upgrade. The screaming antelope is good. Or should I just make screaming antelope stuff? Should I try to upgrade the tank into screaming antelope gear for now? Oh no! You know what? Uh, let me. I'll just make this person better. Who is the bow user? Is wearing just bad stuff. It's because the bow user is not going to use any of their. Because with the death mask, they're not gaining the benefits of leather. And leather's just weaker than screaming stuff. So, um, I think I had two pelt. Yeah, I could have. Did I? How many pelt did I have? So I spent all but two. The bottom two resources here, which was a pelt and a shank bone. So I spent two pelt. Um, I could just sub. So, we'll just say. I killed. The, we'll just say I killed the crab spider for a hide, and then this basic hide for when I spent those other resources instead of spending the pelt. Um, this was a vermin, so that gives me back the two pelt that I spent. Okay. So then that leaves me with three pelt. So could I upgrade the bow user's stuff with three pelt? So I could make. Let's take a look at the bow user stuff here. Right here. So yeah, see they're using leather right now as it stands. Leather is an improvement for the rawhide armor, kind of. But with the rawhide armor, the reason why that rawhide armor is good is because you get the plus one evasion. Um, but I could always get the plus one evasion if I could make more green affinities to replace using the rawhide vest. So... What could I get? So, taking off the leather from this person here. Huh. Could I? I couldn't make an entire second screaming set, correct? Or could I? Spiral Horn, I spent that too, didn't I? Yeah, I spent the Spiral Horn as a bone. So if I would have just spent a different bone, I don't have any different bone. So yeah, never mind, I can't get back that Spiral Horn, I don't have any different bone. 
So, I could make the bracers with a pelt and a hide. Uh, I don't have any bone. So I could make the screaming skirt, uh, which is the waist. What is the bow user using for waist, which is leather? So the screaming skirt. Uh, da, da, da. Screaming skirt. Well, I could just put the bone. The I could just put the bow user in the rawhide set. It's probably for the best anyway, and then put all the full lantern because I had the la I had the full lantern thing, or I had the full leather available to me. And then just make sure. Oh no! See, because then this person can't use the rawhide headband because they're using the death mask. That's the thing. I, see, I need someone to still be able to use the rawhide headband. So, um, should I just make, I mean, what, who cares, right? The stuff's just going to get lost anyway to the uh, butcher because I have no way of, I, I don't think I'm going to win against the butcher. I don't think there's any way of me beating him. So, uh, I could just make screaming bracers. So let's assume that I make another screaming coat, which I can't because that requires a bone. Of course it does. So, screaming leg warmers, a pelt and a hide. So I make the screaming leg warmers and a screaming skirt. Screaming leg warmers. Uh, they're the ones that do stuff. See, the other thing with person with the death mask is they can't gain stuff from affinities because you can't have affinities when you have the, the death mask on. So I'm looking for gear that gives me stuff that doesn't require affinities. So the leg warmers do. They give me three insanity on arrival. And the bracers don't really give me anything. So the leg warmers are nice, and the skirt is nice. So I guess making the skirt and the leg warmers would be useful. It is an improvement, and it does actually do something with doesn't require infinities. So I guess I'll do that. Spend these three pelt to make the um, screaming leg warmers and a screaming skirt. Okay, so that's Screaming Leg Warmer, Screaming Skirt. Um, what do I need for... What is a leather shield? See, I still might have should better made a leather shield. Leather, bone, and hide. Oh, because I have no bone to spend. So I couldn't even make a stupid round shield if I wanted to. Okay, yeah, so Screaming Skirt and the Screaming Leg Warmers, that was clearly the better the best better thing to do so I'll do that what do I have left now all this scrap and crap is just gonna go away I could attempt here to eat or oh, let's cook I'll spend one to cook one I have one endeavor left so it's whether I want to scrap smelt now I can only make one iron but either way uh, spend one endeavor to cook and we will make that um, that's it. so open up the cooking here I know, I already set aside. I know it's a bowl. Uh, I just want to see what it's called. So, cooking. What is it called? Cooking. So, venison oso buco. <laughs> you feed the tick a beef steak. When the nightmare tick is full, simmer it in bone marrow of the shank bone over medium lantern heat. Season with fresh acanthus. So, it requires a nightmare tick. Shank bone, a beef steak, and fresh acanthus, which we have in the storage. So, we'll spend that, and what cooking does is it gives plus one permanent evasion. So, that's great. Plus one permanent evasion. Plus one permanent evasion. So, who is not fighting the butcher? <laughs> who is going to be... Now we're looking at who is actually going to tank the uh, Gold Smoke Knight. 
which looks like it's probably going to be Thunder is going to be the one tanking the Bone Smoke Knight because he's got Rhythm Chaser. This will give him three natural evasion. He's a shield master already. Uh, it's probably going to be Thunder. I'm trying to see if anybody has more evasion than... No one could get to four evasion. So, Thunder, you're eating that. You're the person, you're, that's it. We've decided who our tank is for the Gold Smoke Knight. Thunder, good job, congratulations. You now have three permanent evasion. He could actually go on a couple more fights. He's not even close to aging up completely. Okay, so Thunder, you ate that food. Oh, man. Is there anything else I could do? Oh, I'll make this monster grease. Might as well make the monster grease uh, with the screaming brain here. I'll make another monster grease with the bladder here. Um, yeah, whatever. Just made another monster grease. Uh, spend our la spend scratch melting. Just or try to heal people. Rob is just so mediocre. Flower Addiction, he's got Clutch Fighter with Rage of Hall. I would have to cure... Fear... Shaw is so dead to me. He's got Fear of the Dark and uh, part of the Regal set. Whatever. Here we go. Plague. Can we just heal people with Plague? One more try. Here we go. Nine plus. Heal them both. Otherwise, they die. Oh my gosh, I actually did it. I can't believe I actually did it because it's an 8 with lightning. So these two get healed. I don't even think... I honestly don't even think that was a good use of my endeavor. I probably should just let them die, but... I don't know, I felt bad about letting them die, I guess. Uh, I think that's it. What else can I do? I think this... I mean, should I just try to consume this stuff? Because it's. I think it's just going to go to waste. No, I don't... I mean, I, I, I didn't use the person's lifetime reroll. Should I attempt to consume a sword beetle? Just to get the plus one strength and use the lifetime reroll? Man, but if I roll twice on something bad, that is bad. Oh, man. I don't know. So, if you can think of something else that I should possibly be making with no endeavors, or with one endeavor, if you if people are like, let those fools die, then okay, I'll let them die. They're, they're really no good to me. So here's the question that I'll ask. It's, was it worth saving someone who has flower addiction and rageaholic, a rageaholic and flower addiction with no, not very good stats? He's just a one accuracy, two strength, one evasion. He's already done his courage. He's already done his understanding. So he's already done insight. He's already done bold. He's already aged one. So he's already missed out on a lot of his stuff that would trigger him to get more stats. And then the other person has Fear of the Dark who could never depart anyway. And they also have a Regal Placard. So they only the only good to me thing they could do is fight the Kingsman for me. Uh, and he can't even. I have to cure Fear of the Dark before he can even fight the stupid Kingsman. Oh wait, no. A Nemesis Monsters, you don't depart. Because there's no... You don't... Oh no, you do. Yeah, you still do. You just don't hunt. So... He's no good to me anyway. <laughs> but I could, I could cure Fear of the Dark, which I probably would, just to fight the Kingsman, because it's worth it, since he could actually not... I don't care if he gets Killing Blow. He's, he's useless to me. Um... So if you can think of something I should do with an organ, or should I just attempt to eat these things and spend a, a lifetime reroll? Otherwise, I'm losing... I'm not losing much. I'm losing six scrap. So losing six scrap, a black lichen, which know, it's a random resource. So if you can think of something I can make with an organ... So I've already... I have four grease now. I'll have to make a proxy grease. Uh, since I don't need to have Survivor's Lanterns when I fight the Butcher, because he comes to the Sunlight, I don't need them Lanterns. Uh, I'll put the Monster Grease back. So I have the four Grease, so even spending this organ just to make a Grease is new, a thing. Everybody's gear grid's pretty much full. Uh, so making, like, red charms and stuff, I could make them just to have them for funsies, I guess. 
Like, I could spend these three organs just for fun to make one of the charms. A green, blue, or a red charm. For funsies, I guess. <laughs> uh, or just consume one of these stupid vermin for funsies and just see if I need to re-roll and see if I get strength. Other than that, I think I'm just going to let this stuff go to waste. I don't know what to do with it, and all the better if it survives. So, uh, sorry if that was troubling to watch. I literally, everything depended on dice rolls, otherwise I would have done nothing. <laughs> Uh, if I would have rolled bad and not gotten the cocoon membranes, that would have been terrible. So, uh, again, thank you so much for watching. It is so very humbling, and I'll see you in the next Lantern Year.